State level Governor Haslam trying to find out if state agencies can work with smaller budgets if they have to. And today he heard from some of the big ones, including the Department of Children's Services. News Channel 5's Adam Gassimi was there and joins us live from the Capitol to tonight to explain what changes DCSA might be in store, Adam. Hey, Rory, the DCS commissioner says they will be installing locks on certain kids' uh, rooms at youth correction facilities all across the state to ensure that riots and escapes don't continue to happen. Now, this after two rounds of problems at Woodland Hills in North Nashville this fall. Right now, kids are allowed to come and go from their rooms to common areas. But Commissioner James Henry told the governor today, uh, adding those locks during emergencies will hopefully stop bullies from making threats to get other kids to join in on riots. But a total lockup facility is actually the last thing they're after. Henry says DCS hasn't changed its ways in a very long time, but now they're moving to uh, a more learning model with more therapists to hopefully get kids out of the system faster. You're going to be safe. You're going to have opportunities that you've never had before. We're going to have therapists in these places. It's a giant, giant move. And DCS's requested budget is actually only about a million dollars less than the current budget. Now standing, uh, the requested budget for next year at $311 million. But Henry says all of that money is to ensure that children in Tennessee who need those services get them. We're live at the Capitol tonight. Adam Gusimi, News Channel 5 HD.